Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to create a 3D model grid inside 3D equalizer. So now we are inside 3D equalizer and this is a sort here. So simply just I have tracked this sort inside 3D equalizer. So this sort camera tracking link I am given in descriptions. So now just I am going to create a 3D model grid inside 3D equalizer. So for this, just we have to use this grid 3D model script. So this script just simply you can download from 3D equalizer.com. So this is a free script. So for the first we need a, a 3D model which is our this sphere here. So first just I am going to create a sphere inside Maya then we will import inside this script here. So now we are inside Maya so simply just you can create this sphere then select this sphere then go to this layer editor then downside select this poly sphere then reduce some subdivisions maybe 10 then you can click on file then click on export selection and just select your folder so here I have selected this folder then you can give this file name so here I have given this one then select this file format which is obj export and just click on export selections so now here just I have exported this sphere now again come inside 3d equalizer so now again we are inside 3d equalizer so just simply we have to click on this browse and just select your 3d sphere so this is our sphere which just I have created from Maya so from any software just you can create so here I have selected this sphere then we have to click on ok then after this we have to select this number of rows and column and this is your 3d change between 3d model or sphere so here just simply we can give maybe 5 by 5 and distance this is maybe 5 so according to requirements just simply you can type this distance even later you can adjust any parameter inside this script so first here just I have given this 5 by 5 row now after this just we have to click on this create so you will get this greedy now just go to this 3D orientation control panel so now we are inside of this 3D view here and just simply little bit just minimize this one so just easily just we can see over this is script so just we can adjust all these parameters here so now if you will see actually just inside this 3D view so this is our grid here now after the just we have to use all these parameters and just we have to properly just we have to place this grid according to a scene here so now just we can see so now first just we have to move this grid maybe in a g depth or in x or y direction then for this just you can use this position x plus minus position y plus minus and position g plus minus so first we have to move this in, in g space so if you want you can just select this all spheres so you can see inside the 3d model group here then simply just you can click on the position g minor then simply just you can move and just you can adjust maybe this value how much this will affect all these parameters here maybe position or rotation and you can see and just check so you can see so maybe so after the just we have to also just place this uh, 3d model grid on top of this ground here or just on top of this ground or grid so for this again just we have to use this y position so maybe now just again go to lineup view here and just simply just we can play and check over this 3d model grid now just simply we can play and check so now you can see so with the help of the 3d model grid just simply you can uh, check your maybe camera if there is maybe any jerk all these things after this if you want to little bit adjust this is a size then downside you can see this uniform scale so maybe suppose if you want to reduce then maybe you can type maybe 0.5 just you can click on this uniform scale so you can see even again maybe point six or eight so according to requirement just simply you can type and just you can check so again and again just you have to type first value then you have to click on this uniform scale so if you will click here so this will adjust this scale according to this value and if you will again click so this will not do anything remember this one here so first you have to type value then you have to click on this uniform scale then only this will update it here now just simply just we can play and check so this is our 3d model grid inside 3d equalizer so now again just i am going to import this sort in a proper scene scale so this is again the same sort now again just maybe if you want you can also direct go to f6 so this is again same this 3d orientation control panels here now again just i am going to create same grid so for this what we can do so again first 
inside the 3D orientation control panel, you can again see same script inside this here. So just again click on this 3D grid 3D models. Then you can select your 3D model. Maybe if you want, you can also use cube. So here I have selected same sphere. Now just create. So again, same 5 by 5. Understand this is 5. So now again, just we have to click on this create. So you will get this grid. So now if you will see here, this grid little bit small here because here just I have scale of a scene. So first properly just you have to scale your scene, then just create your the 3D model is very great. So now if you will see, so just a little bit just we have to scale this entire group. So for this what we can do, so again just minimize, so just easily just we can see this. So just simply click on this select all. So here I have selected our all sphere. So if you want, you can also see inside this group. Then if you want, you can use this scale. So simply just we can click on this scale, then we just we can scale. So just uniformly just we have to scale. So yes, you can see. Even if you want to move in maybe in G sphere, then you can also use maybe translate. And just you can place in a proper positions. So now suppose if you will adjust this one, so maybe suppose a type 10 and again just create. So this will just create new grid. So remember this one, okay? So before just adjusting the scale translation, all these things, if you want, you can just adjust this value here. So maybe suppose if you are typing maybe 20. So now again, just we have to click on create. So this will adjust according to this value here. Then after this, just you can place in a proper positions. So remember this one here. So now again, just maybe type it here 5. And again, just we have to create. Then again, simply just we can adjust the scale all these things here. So and just maybe move a little bit in this x plus no, again f6 so simply just you can change maybe 3d view or a line view and just simply just properly just you can place your grid according to your requirements so now suppose if you want to change this 3d model color all these things then simply you can select all first then go to this color and just you can select any color according to your requirement even just you can also adjust this alpha so this is actually totally depends on your requirement. So now again just select this and and alpha just again same thing that you can adjust even if you want you can also do this so poly you can hide and so. so maybe this is sufficient so here just I have covered all these parameters so, so now you can see this is our 3d model grid then after this just you can render this sort from 3d closure so for this just we have to click on this line of view and just select this overview control then click on this view and just and untick this motion blur then then go to this so point and just select only point selected then we have to click on this render then click on save out render frame now just we have to click on this path where you want to save this render so maybe inside this folder in 3d folder just create this folder just give a name then give a file name then dot for hash then dot maybe jpg or png so that type jpeg so remember this one here just we have to select this folder which just type created then this is your file name now click on ok then uncheck over scan and reapply distortion and this is your frame range then this is your format and this is your frame size. Now finally just we have to click on render. So you can see. Now just we have to check over this render. So guys this is a 3D model grid render and remaining things just you can adjust according to your requirement. So guys if you like this video please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.